Lazarus. 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 David Lazarus, special agent, Nancy Pelosi's head of security. Did Pelosi's security chief perjure himself? On the very night of the release of this story, the House has voted to oust the Speaker. We lost our Speaker of the House. The moment McCarthy, his seat was vacated, I lost my ability to release the video. We were given permission to use a single screenshot. Therefore, the Honorable Mike Johnson of the state of Louisiana, duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. Of course, now we have a new Speaker in place. We now have permission to release the video. Another big win for our DOJ prosecutors. The biggest sedition trial in America in 80 years. The highest profile trial to date related to the January 6th attack. The Justice Department has rested its case in the seditious conspiracy trial against Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes, and four of his associates. The story of David Lazarus on January 6th is very simple. Lawyers for Stuart Rhodes and four other members of the Oath Keepers on trial have suggested that the group helped Officer Harry Dunn. Dunn just took the stand and said flat out, quote, they didn't. Sentenced to four years in prison. Sentenced to eight and a half years in prison. Sentenced to 12 years in prison. Sentenced to 18 years in prison. His story that day is he was assisting the evacuation of the Senate at the time that the incident between Officer Harry Dunn and the Oath Keepers began. <laughs> Just outside of the rotunda, there was Harry Dunn. He's a Capitol Police officer. He was freaking out. I mean, he was screaming. No, get the f out of here. He had a, a rifle. He had said he might get taken out, but he was going to take a bunch of people with it. He was definitely in a position where he could have done some damage. The Oath Keepers lined up between him and the more agitated protesters and assisted him in keeping them off of him. Don rejected the defense's argument that members of the militia protected him. I don't conflate my story. He had two separate FBI interviews which were in conflict with one another. In the first FBI interview, he actually gave a favorable story about his encounter with the four oath keepers. He stood in front of Harry Dunn for almost six minutes. After he was brought in for his second FBI interview, he changed that story. He was fighting back insurrectionists across the Capitol while being called the vilest racist names. So what they did is they brought in another officer, special agent David Lazarus, to kind of bolster that story and give it more credibility by saying that when he arrived at the top of those stairs, that he saw Dunn standing at the top of the stairs being hassled by these Oath Keepers. At the time the Harry Dunn Oath Keepers encounter began, he was not in the same building. Lazarus was just not there. He could not have seen, he could not have witnessed what was taking place because Lazarus was in another Senate office building across the street from Constitution Avenue. So we were able to track Lazarus on the Capitol CCTV cameras. Lazarus can be seen moving away from the Capitol building through a lower tunnel at 2.37.59 p.m. Lazarus continues moving toward the Senate office buildings at 2.41.49 p.m. During Officer Lazarus's October 31st trial testimony, he stated that he began his return to the Capitol building after hearing shots fired over Capitol Police radio. That occurred at 2.43 p.m. Here, Lazarus can be seen moving back toward the Capitol at 2.45 p.m. Dunn's encounter with the Oath Keepers began at 2.44 and lasted roughly between five and six minutes. Here, Lazarus finally emerges from the tunnel back to the Senate side of the Capitol building at 2.48. Dunn falsely testified that Lazarus was already at the location where he encountered the Oath Keepers before he arrived. 
but Lazarus can be seen at the top of the elevator leading up from the tunnel at 2.48 p.m. on the Senate side of the Capitol, over four minutes after Dunn encountered the Oath Keepers on the House side. I don't conflate my story. Lazarus then continued to move through a lower level of the Capitol on the Senate side of the building at 2.49 p.m. Dunn's encounter with the Oath Keepers is almost over by now, but Lazarus testified that he saw Dunn in an antagonistic conversation with the Oath Keepers three or four times. The Capitol Police officer who just took the stand in the Oath Keepers trial blew a hole in one of the defense's theories. Started to restore my faith in the Justice Department. Finally, they're charging people with the sedition we saw with our own eyes on live TV. Lazarus can still be seen in the Senate side of the building at 2.50 p.m. At 2.52 p.m., Lazarus can be seen continuing his progression toward the House side of the Capitol. The four Oath Keepers are no longer standing a line between Officer Dunn and those contentious protesters as they had moved into the rotunda and began heading toward the east doors to exit the building. At 2.54 p.m., Lazarus continues moving toward the house side of the Capitol. He is still one level down from where Dunn and the Oath Keepers encounter had already concluded minutes earlier. At 2.56 p.m., Lazarus is still one floor below and is still not arrived at the staircase where he claimed to have seen Dunn's encounter with the four Oath Keepers. By this time, those Oath Keepers had already left the rotunda and are about to exit the east doors. Finally, at 2.56, Lazarus can be seen reaching the bottom of the staircase, at the top of which he claimed to have witnessed Dunn's very antagonistic interaction with four Oath Keepers three or four times while rescuing 11 or 12 of Pelosi's staff from their offices. The problem with that is it just never happened. He was then shown in court a video clip of four Oath Keepers standing in front of Dunn. Lazarus was asked, are these the individuals you observed? He said, yes, that's the ones that I saw Harry Dunn with. Except that he couldn't have because he was in another building a quarter of a mile away. These are videos that were never released to the defense attorneys. This See, is our government not getting it wrong. No. This is our government setting American citizens up, withholding evidence that's exculpatory, sentencing them to long sentences. This is as bad as it gets. It clearly was important to prosecutors. They wanted to set an example. This should rock the Capitol Police. We received messages from our sources at the DOJ in Washington that they were quote unquote terrified of this story. Additionally, I have a screenshot of an internal email passed between Capitol Police leadership. They were concerned about the traction that that story was getting. It's something for us to keep an eye on and see if it develops or not. Now, this is interesting about the Capitol Police that they're more worried about the traction of their story than they are worried about the lie that their special agent told on the stand in the Oath Keepers trial. As we continue the process of peeling back the layers on this particular story, we're going to find evidence of who set this up and who put those two officers on the stand because I don't believe for a moment that Harry Dunn and David Lazarus got together in the middle of that staircase that day on January 6th and hatched this story. 